I have been living with the Vahole tribe in a remote part of the South Pacific for nearly three weeks. I have brought home fish for the tribe. I have learnt their ways. And now I have been given permission to attempt to catch and release a shark, a dream I can trace back to when I was 13 years old. The most common form of fishing here is perhaps the simplest there is, just a line and a hook. No rod, no reel. It was Morgan who took me handlining before, but this time the quarry will be very different. Well, that's a bit of stingray because that's what everyone says is the, the bait for sharks. And uh, slight apprehension actually before putting it in the water because this is a small, wobbly dugout canoe. You know, normally, if you're fishing for sharks, you've got a big boat, you've got a reel to keep the line handy. Well, I'm going to be using a hand line, so I've got line around my ankles. Something could take off at speed. There's always the possibility that line will catch me. I have chosen to fish in the narrow strait leading into the lagoon. The deep waters here funnel and eddy with the shifting tides, the perfect spot for sharks to lurk. Morgan is a man of few words and guards his secrets closely. So when he opens up, I listen. Yeah, it's hard to catch. Why, why is that? Because it's a, it's a different sack. Not like a normal sack. The people who keep that sack, they, they can talk to that sack. Morgan reveals that this spot is home to a shark sacred to the Vahole tribe. I suddenly wonder if I should be fishing here. But before I can take out my line, something bites. No, I'm tightening, I'm tightening, I'm tightening. That's something on. That's something on. The cameraman is in the boat directly in front of me. If we collide, I could end up in the water. The boat's moving towards you. Move the bloody boat. Move the boat. It's moving towards you. There's a shark on. There's a shark on. I'm having real trouble holding the line with my bare hands. Real trouble. I don't want to wrap it around my hands because I'm over the side then. Right, the boat's now going. That's good. That's a bit of relief, actually, because... Right, the boat is now going. Because when the boat isn't going and the fish is accelerating, I'm taking all that on my hands. The line's like a cheese cutter on my bare hands, so I pull on a glove. Well, the glove. So I'm being very cautious. I'm just getting that line in slowly. Just constant pressure on the, on the shark, tiring it out. Is it gone? Is it gone? It's gone. It's gone. What's happened? That's actually bit through the wire. That's bit through the wire. So, I mean, that felt that that was well and truly hooked, which it was. And so much for actually uh, taking the hook out. That shark has taken the hook. I finally got the chance I'd been waiting for, and I've blown it. God. After all that. 